things in the ELO ELO have really been opening back up. It's pretty much back to normal. The masks are no longer required in most outdoor situations, but indoors they are still required. To me, that's not a problem. I generally forget I'm wearing mine anyway. They're pretty comfortable. It just kind of makes it hard to understand because you're, you know, talking through the mask makes it hard to talk. Other than that, it's not a big deal. We've had quite a few more foreigners coming in. They've relaxed the entrance requirements. And this was a big one. Oh, and a crowded one. The job fairs are back. Now, jobs, jobs here are very complicated, a lot more complicated than I'm used to. You generally have to jump through a lot of hoops to get these jobs. They're not particularly good pay, and the way the workers are treated, most foreigners would not put up with it. It's normal here. Hopefully, they'll be making some improvements for the workers' rights. But, you know, I stay out of as much of that as I can because I don't hire people here. But we got this job fair. We went to uh, Robinson's Haro not too long ago, and we had a friend of the family that was applying for a job out in Antiqui, a far side of the island, applying for a job out there, but had to come here to interview. Seems a bit extreme. But I imagine not too many people came all the way across the island to interview, so she was probably one of the few. I guess it works. The mall is extremely busy today because of a job fair. We have a family member that came from Antiki, a five-hour bus ride away, for a job interview. The job is right by the house in Antiki, but the interview is here. I don't think I've ever traveled five hours for a job interview. We've seen, I should have gotten a picture of this. Oh, this was at Mary Mart, one of the little local small malls. And there was a job posting at the food court for a busboy. You know, the busboy. They pick up the dishes, they take them to the back. Not an extremely complicated job. Under 26, over 5'2", college degree for a busboy. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Luckily, I'm not looking for a job. It's it's bizarre. It is different. Most countries, these things would not even be legal. You know, they can't even ask your age in the U.S. But here at Robinson's Mall in Haro, the jobs were not for Robinson's necessarily. That was just where they were holding the job fair. There were a lot of people looking for jobs. Let's go take a look at it. The food court, as you can see, has very few restaurants, which is unfortunate. It's full of people today simply because of the job fair. You can see they're all sitting down filling out paperwork. There's almost no restaurants, and that food court needs some help. The mall's fairly busy, so I don't know what's up with the food court. Downstairs are a number of restaurants, your basic fast food places that they have everywhere, and they seem to get a a decent amount of business so maybe the food court just doesn't get the business i don't know but it's shockingly empty and you can see this line upstairs is part of the check-in they're in this huge crowd going in to get checked in to go downstairs for the interviews this is a very popular job fair actually i've seen busier but this is pretty crowded this mall couldn't hold too many more people this this was a Pretty good turnout. There's a lot of people looking for jobs. As an aside, check out the artwork at the CR. Yeah, it's kind of weird. We're going into the bathroom, and there's some amazing pictures on the wall. Like, these are really nice. There's some good photographers here. These are different events around the city. 
different uh, like tourist attractions and such and there's just some really nice artwork in the passageway leading to the CR. Later in the afternoon the job fair started clearing out and the mall kind of became back to a regular mall. We did a little bit of shopping after lunch, just kind of hanging out, enjoying the day. And enjoying it not as crowded. Man, it was crowded this morning. The movie theater recently reopened. I think there's only a couple screens open, depending on how many movies are coming through. Not a lot of movies at the moment. So even like Festive Walk, I think, had like it was either six or eight screens and now they're running to sm city's theater hasn't opened yet the main robinson's downtown has not opened yet the robinson's here at haro is open but that's at only a couple of screens it's an improvement and as movies start getting released more hopefully the theaters will open more hasn't been a lot of movies released at the theaters as far as I know, anyway. And here downstairs, we have all our regular fast food places. You know, it's your Jollibee's, Greenwich, s &R's getting, they've got a couple places outside of the store now, so they're getting popular. And of course, the ever popular Dunkin' Donuts since like 1950. They've been around a long time. And they're pretty popular here. The job situation here is kind of unfortunate. And a lot of the younger people, they're coming out of college. I was talking to some college students not too long ago, and one of them had just impeccable English. I mean, really, like no accent, really good English. And so I was asking her where she learned it. She's like, just from watching TV and movies and music. I mean, there's just no accent, really good English. And I made the mistake of saying, so have you thought about call center job and she's looking at me just like shaking her head going i did not go to college to get a job at a call center and apparently everyone is telling her to get a call center job because they are decent pay terrible hours because of our time difference with the u.s they work nights here so they can talk to the u.s during the day and the pay is pretty good for the jobs you get here but she was like, there's just no way. She says she wants to get a real job, you know, not just a call center job. She does agree that the call center jobs are better for families than going overseas. The OFWs make a good bit more, but it splits up the family. So at least the call center job keeps the family together more. But she said that is not the job she wants, but her English was just amazing. It's one of the best. She speaks better than I do. And there's no excuse for me because it's supposed to be my native language. Good news. After traveling all the way across the island for this interview, our niece got the job. And as I said, I imagine very few people came all the way over here to interview. It still seems odd that the job is in Antiki, but the interview is here. But that's because the boss is here. You would think, like, the store managers would be able to hire and I don't know. Just it did seem bizarre that she had to come this far. But the good news is she did get the job. So we're glad to see the malls are reopening. They've been open, but they're back to normal. Um, I mean, other than wearing masks inside, they're back to normal. Movie theaters are reopening. It's getting better. We're getting a lot more foreigners coming back. A lot more expats are returning. And lucky for her, she got the job. And I got a donut. So it was a win-win. Enjoy your day in paradise.